Hi, I'm Jenna Kelly with the Green Girl Minute, and I am very excited. I'm here with Dr. Furman at the first Nutritarian Festival in Aspen, Colorado. And Dr. Furman is a New York Times bestselling author, a family physician, an expert in nutrition, and the list goes on. So how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. We're having a great time here and doing a lot of good work. And what are you doing in Aspen this weekend? Give us a summary. Well, it's very exciting because we're actually attempting to produce nutritional research that's going to change the face of healthcare in America. Instead of being drug focused, we think that we're not really taking advantage of the nutritional research and new nutritional science that shows you can prevent heart disease, strokes, and even cancer. And when nutritional excellence is taken to a high enough level of competency, we can actually use nutrition therapeutically to reverse disease. And if there's one thing we could each do every day, what would that be that's most important for our nutrition and our health? To eat a large salad is the main dish at one of the meals you eat each day. A large green with green vegetables, you know, vegetables, tomatoes, onions, carrots, a lot of a big serving of raw vegetables with a delicious um, dressing made out of maybe fruit and tomatoes and nuts and seeds, a nut, a nut or seed based dressing. Mm -hmm. So you put a healthy dressing on a healthy salad is, has been shown to in more than 200 studies show dramatic protection against both heart disease and cancer. So we don't need all that protein, chicken and meat on every salad or every meal. Well, that's the thing, is that's what we're finding out, that the more animal products we eat, as we eat more higher amounts of high biological protein, we raise a hormone in our tissues called IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor 1, which is now being linked to higher rates of breast cancer, prostate cancer, and premature aging. So we're trying to get people to hold, to consume less animal products and more nutrient-rich plant foods, like green vegetables, onions, mushrooms, tomatoes, berries, beans, things like that. And let's talk about the connection between sustainability and the environment and local foods and eating vegetables that are local and things like that. Well, you know, personally, I think everybody should have their own vegetable garden and we should be growing our own food. And it's so important. And even if you live in a climate that has is winter or into, you could still grow your own food. Kale can be can still be and can be picked under the snow even. The point is we have to eat locally grown food, we have to grow more of our own foods ourselves, and we have to make our diet more plant-based and less animal product based so we're not wasting so much resources and, and actually destroying some of the environment and even raising the climate of the world just because our diet is requiring so much energy and also it's too meat based, which takes a huge amount of, res of, economic, of um, environmental resources. And if people want to learn more and get involved and um, get involved with all your work, how do they do so? Well, if they'd like to look at um, nutritionalresearch.org, will be a great place to start. And I have tons of nutritional information on human health and disease prevention at my own website, drfurman.com. Well, check out drfurman.com to learn more. And thanks so much for talking to us. Thanks for tuning in to the Green Girl Minute.